What's up YouTube? Uh, just a quick update on the progress of the sump. So I was doing some checking around on the different baffles and the top of the air bubble trap uh, was loose so I had to go ahead and redo uh, that piece. Uh, it actually gave me an opportunity to run another bead of silicone on the inside of the um, number one baffle. So that actually worked out okay. And I went ahead and added a tray um, of some baffle, I'm sorry, some uh, diffuser that I have left. And I just ran, you know, a little bit of silicone above it just to hold it in place. So um, the purpose of this is actually just to um, give my Miracle Mud some cover. Um, and maybe keep uh, whatever is loose creature wise out of there and so the tray is designed to protect the miracle mud kind of give it a little bit of cover and I'm going to put some macroalgae over it uh, probably Chato. So just give me some uh, covering so maybe it stays put in the refugium. And then I'll probably put a uh, live rock in place over here. I won't have too much live rock though. So we're going to do a quick water test on the uh, ATO container. So I've got my water hooked up to my pipe here and we're going to go ahead and see what happens. Hmm, tortilla chip. Someone snuck a tortilla in my uh, YouTube here. So what I'll do is once this section fills up and I'm happy with the results, I'm going to go ahead and siphon over to the next section. So for the ATO, I'm going to do a, oop, got water leakage. So that's no bueno. Got a little bit of water leakage over here. So that's no good for the ATO container.
All right, so you can see that got water leakage and so this raffle has failed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let the water flow through. I'll leave it overnight and see if the second baffle holds up, at least at the seal area. So yeah, it's uh, kind of disappointing. Have to redo this baffle. Thanks for watching. Okay, just wanted to give the latest. I did a water test by putting water in the end reservoirs on both sides and as you can see uh, water has made it over to the bubble trap I made a mark last night before I went to bed uh, where the water level was and I can see the water levels gone down uh, quite a bit so I believe the leak is somewhere uh, below that line and on the ATO I've got a leak there too I, I kind of pinpointed it um, I think it's in the far corner there, so I'm going to um, go ahead and get the water out and do some some work on, on trying to get that sealed up. Um, the leaks over here aren't as big of a deal, but for the uh, ATO reservoir, I need that thing to be as watertight as possible. So. Um, one thing you'll notice so far is that there's water on both sides of the refugium and the refugium is bone dry. So, so far the refugium looks like it's watertight, which is good, which is perfect. Um, Cause that's where all my nitrates are gonna get trapped. So, so far, <clears throat> um, you know, there, there's some ups and downs but overall everything's looking good. Again, I did um, put in a tray uh, to cover up some Miracle Mud and maybe put some algae uh, down below. If you guys have any other creative things I could do in the refugium, let me know. I'm reserving this uh, corner um, for live rock rubble or the sorts, possibly a big piece of live rock. Um, and I may put a uh, really shallow layer of sand down too. So anyway, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll give an update once everything is all completed. Alright guys, just a real quick update. So my mentor in the aquarium trade, Gary, came by and took a look at my... Um, build here and he had a couple things to point out um, number one the structural beam across the 55 gallon has been removed from this tank and he believes that the uh, acrylic is too weak to withstand uh, the pressure of the uh, water on the tank and he thinks the tank could explode or implode so he thinks the best thing for me to do is um, replace everything with glass, at least towards the middle. So I'm going to follow his advice and probably just end up reconfiguring this thing. So I'm asking uh, YouTube to um, throw me some pointers on some things that I might have missed in this design. And uh, I'm probably just going to go all glass on this thing. So, um, you know, as you can see, I did a water test here and I found quite a few leaks. Um, one of the things I'll try to maintain in this design is the media tray, but possibly go deeper on it. And, you know, I already patented that design there, the, the overflow guard. So 
I definitely want to integrate that in my final design. But other than that, it's wide open, including uh, moving the bubble trap towards the end, which might actually work out better for me. Um, so running, running the uh, the refugium into the bubble trap into the uh, output pump, um, the return pump. So as you can see over here, I got my hands on a real nice skimmer. This is an Aqua C EV180, I believe. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the 180. It came with the Mag 9.5 uh, pump. And you can see it's, it's had some use. But I'm getting a real good deal on it. And it's going to work out real nice because I'll have a uh, collection uh, area to basically collect the skim. That way I don't need to be going behind the cabinet all the time to, to check the cup, to, to empty the cup out. Probably just go back there for uh, cleaning it up from time to time. So that's where we're at right now is um, gonna scrap the, the baffles here. I've used a ton of silicone, so I got a ton of scraping to do, and um, it's back to square one for me. So, uh, YouTube, I'm open for comments and suggestions on on what to do next. I definitely, you don't want to maintain that refrigium. Um, I don't want this thing to be too cluttered. I've seen some really cluttered designs um, on YouTube, and you know, I'm trying to not get too fancy on this thing. I'm just you know open to ideas so that's it uh, one of the things that I've seen is that people paint the glass in the uh, refugium area black for algae purposes so that's one thing I'm looking at possibly so anyway um, that's where I'm at sump is getting redesigned again Thank you for watching, please subscribe.